early birds and night owls. My name is Nox, aka Mako, and welcome to Rise of Industry Alpha 3.0. We have not seen any Rise of Industry gameplay on this channel since Alpha 1.4, 1.5, something like that, and so it's been a quite a while. It feels like it's been quite a while since we've last played this game, so I am super, super excited to actually get started with it because there have been quite a few changes. Some graphical, some, you know, just how the how the game works. I'm pretty sure there's a, there's a word for that. I just can't think of it right now. But let's go ahead and get started with a custom game because I do want to change some things up about what we start with. First thing, I'm going to go with the seed Nox here because I am vain and self-important. So for a world size, listen to this. Large may lag. I'm pretty sure that it will lag because usually like when I play RimWorld, if I play a large world, like a super big map, it does lag. So no matter what, just Stick to medium or small if you really want to. As for mountains, I'm not so sure what mountains do or how they operate, so I'm going to keep them to low just in case I don't like them too much. That might be a problem if they're not okay, so we're going to just keep it to low for now, and hopefully they'll be okay. Hills and lakes, sure, let's go for medium there. Coast amount, too, seems like a fair amount, just so we won't be um, cheating too much with too much coast line because that sounds like it might be a little bit cheaty. As for a river frequency, I will keep it high because rivers look absolutely beautiful and I mean they probably might help us out in terms of getting sand and water so sure let's keep it high. Smoothing medium res resource amount. I'm gonna go for medium just because I want a little bit of a challenge. If we go for high we're gonna have maybe way too many resources and we are going to well have an easy game. That's not exactly what I want. And everything else I'll keep it as is. So let's go ahead and generate ourselves our Nox seed here. And hopefully we end up with something good. Something that I can pronounce. Because I remember last time there was a certain town that I could not pronounce to save my life. And that was actually very, very sad and pathetic. So hopefully this time around we'll have something better. Alright, so over here we have Oldstead. I see right off the bat we have Oldstead and oh, there's nothing here. It's an eco-friendly town with absolutely, n or, oh, excuse me, eco-friendly village with nothing here. I guess they only grow trees, maybe not even that. <laughs> All right, whatever. We have Puto and Milver here, which looks like it's actually very, very big. It has a bookstore and a home goods and farmer's market. Wow. I might have to go for them. I mean, they kind of have connection right over here, so that might be good. And we could definitely do a lot of stuff here to try to sell them what they might need. So that's definitely an option there. Maybe, ooh. This is going to be good because this is these are all within range of each other, so we might go for this for sure, for sure. We have Farnwood right over here, and Farnwood also seems to be pretty big. They also have a bookstore and a home goods and a farmer's market. Pretty sure that's not true to life, though. Nowhere would you ever find so many home goods close to each other. Anyway, at Warlso, Warlso, I'm going to say, eh, we have a home goods and a farmer's market, so it seems like everybody has a farmer's market. Ooh! Look at that bridge! I really like that bridge! Alright, so what else do we have along here? Whoa! Hello! Oh my gosh! We have a massive river system here, and oh, look at that! There's oil in the water. Well, now we know where to find oil. <laughs> if we can't find any on the land, we can find some in the water for sure. So all the way over here, we have Waldem. Waldem has a home goods and a farmer's market, as is the same with all the other ones. And I think I saw something down here. Ah, oh, we have Tibby. Tibby looks, looks to be pretty big. We have a, de a deli. A farmer's market, a deli, and a bookstore, and it is a town, so a deli, I've not ever seen a deli. Looks like they want candied apples, chocolate, chocolate cake, oh my gosh. Forget the other one, I'm building over here. <laughs> I am definitely building here, I mean pizza, chocolate cake, candied apples, oh yeah you guys, we're doing this. Wait, candied apples? Candied, uh, something about this doesn't seem quite right, hmm. That's a candied apple for sure, but that doesn't look like candied apples. That looks like, uh, it looks like orange. I'm gonna guess that this is like some kind of an orange jam or something like that, because that's exactly what it looks like. So, I guess we're gonna build out Tibby instead, especially since it has this, uh, state connection right over here. So we can just exit from here, sell, sell things if we need to right there, and that would be really good. So, what do we need to make ourselves a chocolate cake? Well, we have our wonderful, beautiful recipe book right over here. We no longer have to keep an extra tab open or keep our phones in front of our faces while we actually play the game to actually figure out what we need. So, we are going to need to get ourselves chocolate cake. I'm going to actually search this so I know where exactly to get it. Chocolate cake. Well, it seems like we're going to need some cocoa. Okay. Eggs. Hmm. We're going to have to have a chicken farm, huh? And wheat. Okay, so we're going to need a lot of water. I mean, a lot, a lot of water to actually produce this, but that's fair enough. I, I mean, I, I love chocolate cake, so I am going for this right now. I don't even care. I don't care that we're going to need a trillion units of water. Let's just do this. So, 
From here, I'm going to go ahead and take a road out through to right here because I believe we can get a harvester somewhere over here. I mean, probably over here because it seems like this land is flat, but this one might have enough space. So let's see. We need our building construction over here so we can actually get ourselves out. Excuse me. <laughs> a water siphon. So where can we place this guy? We have to flip this guy over here and let's see. Oh, we can place it there. Can we place it over here? We can. Ooh. All right, that's good. Works for me. And let's see. So now we go for our harvesters. Our harvesters have got to be placed down as soon as possible so we can actually get all the water that we need. I don't know if we're, ne we're going to need all five of them. We might. Just because we're going to need a lot of water. So that's definitely something to consider. Anyway, let's go ahead and connect this right up right away. Otherwise, I might forget. And then we're not ever going to get any water anywhere if we don't connect them. So there we go. Let's bring this guy out over here and connect this road to this one there. Nice. All right, so we have this space over here now that we can actually use for some farms. So we're going to need first a wheat farm. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves our farms over here. And we're going to need that crop farm here so we can actually get our wheat. And let's see, I know I, I pronounced that weirdly, but it's, it's done on purpose. All right, so let's see, we're gonna scooch this guy right over. Hopefully we can actually fit ourselves our, hmm. Did I do them before like this or like the other way? I don't know, I think I did them the wheat fields like this. Sure, let's go for that. I'll just have to remove this road so I can get this one in properly, but that's okay, that's, ooh, what is this? Hold, hold on, there's something right over here. Ah, oh, we have gas here. That's interesting and we have to watch out for that big time for sure for sure because we don't want to mess with that at all and let's see i have to try to stay away from tibby altogether we're gonna need a food factory just to make the cake so that's definitely something we have to keep in mind everything else seems to require just a farm so let's go ahead and place the food factory right now though because we're gonna have to redirect all of these different things over to that so let's go to our factories we're going to grab ourselves a food factory wow that is actually very very expensive can we fit this over here hmm we can, which might be good because I do want to place another farm across the street. Ew, actually, we couldn't do that. We don't have enough space. We have water over here. All right, fine, fine. I'll just uh, do something like this. Let's place the food factory right over here and leave that space open for any more water siphons if we need them. I don't know. Anyway, we need other farms. I mean, we do have this area back here. That might work. However, Tibby's in the way, you guys. Tibby's definitely in the way. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them over here. So let's see, we're going to need a livestock farm. I know I have a lot of stuff open, so let's start closing them. And let's get rid of you, and let's get rid of you. There we go. All right, so we're going to need ourselves a livestock farm. Let's go ahead and do this guy somewhere over here. We want to leave enough space between this and the gas, just in case we ever do decide to use gas. Or I guess we will, huh? Hmm. Let me build a road, and I might have to build it, build the uh, different farms off this road. I want to leave enough room from this to this. Let's see, we're going to go and do something like here. Good. All right, so I think that's enough room here in case we do eventually get gas. We should be able to put it right up in there. I want to make sure, though, that we can do that. Let's see, where do we have our uh, gas collector? Gas pump. Perfect. We do have some room there for the gas, uh, whatever you want to call them, the harvesters, if you want to call them that. So that does work. All right, good. Although having that all together in this farm area seems a little bit weird, but hey, whatever. All right, so livestock farm. I do want to actually extend this road out a little bit further so we can actually use it properly. There we go. And livestock farm, we can go ahead and have this one, I suppose, right up here. I want to maybe make it over here, but we do need room for the other one. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's see. We're going to go and fill this up with... Can I fill this back here? Oh, that's rough. That is actually very rough. We can't actually put that back there. So that's not going to work out super well because of that hill. That hill is not helping us at all. Hmm. I That bothers me. That bothers me because I have to have them like this. Otherwise, I feel like, oh boy, things aren't going to look well here. Yeah, it's just part of the hill too. Oh, that is annoying. I could move this in. That's not going to be an issue. So let's just uh, waste money. <laughs> Oh, actually, we didn't even lose that much money. All right, fair enough. Wait, we lost... Okay, we lost a bit of money. All right, I'm going to move this in one. Even though I said that, you know, it works well the way it is. I'm going to take that back. Let's just do this instead. And scoochy scooch this road over to here. There we go. So hopefully that'll work. And let's just uh, remove this extra road here that we no longer need. There we go. All right, so livestock farm. Let's try that again. We're going to build this one over here because it seems to be enough space, I hope. I'm going to just move it over one just in case. All right, now we can put this right back there, thank goodness, and this right over here and right over there. Ta-da! Also, we are going to need, let's see, a plantation, which is, I believe, one of the newer buildings. Let's get rid of that because now I know exactly what we need. A plantation over here. Let's make sure that we leave maybe... I'm going to say five spaces on each side, so if we don't have that, I'm going to have to scooch something over. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to scooch the road over. Wait, I already... 
Oh, this is actually perfect. Haha. <laughs> oh, you guys, I mathed without even mathing. That's perfect. Although, we're gonna need some probably extra room for this one just because. So instead of, you know. Wait a second, does this. Does this go this way? It goes this way. Gotcha. All right. That's fine. I'll do this on this side, do this on this side, and then if we actually need this, I'll just scooch that over. I don't really, I don't really think we're going to need that many, so hopefully this is going to be just fine as it is. So, the other thing to do are chocolate cakes, it seems. So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to go to our water siphon and rename it first. We're going to call it the Tibby Water... We're going to call it just a Tibby Water Works. Sure. Tibby Water Works. There we go. And we're going to send out... We're going to need a few more trucks because, of course, we need to send water to here, here, and here. So let's go ahead and select our first livestock, sure. Then select the plantation here, and then select the crop farm. Although I feel like we're going to need more crops, so I should probably just uh, switch the order of this, because it feels like they always send more to the very first one on the list. So let's do something like this, then that one, and lastly that one. There we go. All right, so we're going to need to buy a few trucks. Let's go ahead and buy up to six and send two trucks to each of them. We might need more water than that, so we have to keep that in mind, because, well, water is... One of the greatest necessities in the world, apparently. Let's switch this production over to chocolate cake so we know exactly what we need here. And, well, I mean, we already know. We just have to produce it. So, let's start here. We know that we're producing wheat. We need water, though. So, we are going to get our water right away from there. So, that's going to be good. And we're going to send our first wheats over to the... Um, well, we can send it there. Just because we're going to need that. Let's take one off from there. And we're going to send the rest of this to the factory. I suppose we can send just one for now. And if we need more trucks there, we will send more. But... I think this should be fine. All right, so we have that going for us, and we're, of course, actually, let's just rename this one. This is going to be the Chocolate Cake, or the Tibby, not Tobby, Tibby Chocolate Cake Factory. Oh, if only there were chocolate cake factories, like actually good chocolate cake, not like those fake, not really chocolatey tasting chocolate cakes. Hey, this is the Tibby Wheat Farm, so let's go ahead and name that that, and that should be good. All right, so over here, we have our livestock farm, and to make actual eggs, we're going to need to get ourselves our wheat, which is why we're sending that over here. And we also need water, which we are also sending over here. Chicken is actually what we need, and let's see, we're going to choose our uh, meat. We're going to send it out of state. So we're going to click on that and just send out, or just one truck. So then we can actually send our, let's see, oh, we have to actually select this over here so we can make sure that we have eggs. Eggs, there we go. So we're going to send the eggs over to the chocolate cake factory with two trucks, yes. Please and thank you. And this is going to be the Tibby Chicken Farm. There we go. All right. I know that these are all very generic names, but I mean, it helps us figure out exactly what we're using here. So this one, we just need water. So this is going to be the Tibby Cocoa Plantation. How about that? Cocoa Plantation. All right, and we're going to send off our cocoa to, of course, the chocolate factory. Probably just two trucks over there, and that should be just about everything that we need. I, I don't believe we need anything else, but we do need to actually send out the chocolate cake to where we have to go. I mean, we're going to have to send it to the deli, right? With three different trucks. Oh, we can't really rename the deli, so it's always going to be deli one. That's okay. All right, so we should have everything working pretty soon. This is going to be the first guy that has to work, that has to do the work. Because we can't really send out any water if we're not collecting it. So we are collecting it now. We're sending him off into, well, different places where we have to go. So hopefully that's going to work out pretty well for us. We tried to keep everything compact. That way we don't have to go too far with different things. And, well, hopefully this should be good. I mean, I can't wait to actually start making money from just selling our extra meat over to... Well, out of state, wherever we're going with that. Let's see, does Timmy actually need chicken meat anywhere, though? Like, do we need any meat for any of this? I don't I don't know if we do. Let's see, pizza. What does pizza require? Because I've never made pizza. Pizza, what are we going to need? We're going to need vegetables. We're going to need cheese, and we're going to need wheat. It seems like this pizza is actually pretty vegetarian, huh? Over here, we're asking for cocoa, vegetables, apples, and milk. I mean, we have cocoa, so we could probably go for that, but... Eh. And over here, we need deluxe books, newspapers, uh, books, and gift wrapping. Ooh, gift wrapping. That sounds really cool. I, I wonder what Tibby's going to grow first, because these places usually start growing pretty quickly, and they grow a lot. Did we actually deliver our stuff to the deli? Let's see. That's a bookstore. Where's the deli? The deli's right over here. Oh, we did deliver. Nice. All right, so how are we doing in terms of money? Well, not good, not good at all. Hopefully, we will start making money soon. We just started a new month, though, so I guess we're going to have to wait and see. If we can finally, or I guess we only just started, so what am I saying? Finally. If we can make a profit. We are halfway through, about now, and we still have a lot of debt, so I think we need to bring our progress of chocolate cake a little bit higher. Seems like we are not producing enough eggs. That might be a problem. Or maybe we're not... Yeah, no, these hens are not laying enough eggs, it seems. Oh, man. And they don't have enough wheat. That's also a problem. So wheat. How are we doing with the wheat production? We might need some more water over here, which means that we are probably not producing enough water, huh? 
Yeah, we have none in storage. All right, that makes sense then. That definitely makes sense. Let's go ahead and place one more of these. And I guess I can place this one right over here and make sure that we connect this one over to our road right there. This one's automatically connected. All right, so we should be getting some more water. Hopefully, hopefully this means that we can, uh, well, let's go ahead and buy one more truck so we can send it over to the wheat farm just in case that's a problem because we clearly need it all on wheat so we can send it over to the chickens so they can actually produce the eggs that we need for our chocolate cakes and yeah you know we are deeply in debt right now mostly because we built some more harvesters but uh, once that's over we can see exactly how much we're making or if we're even making anything because i'm pretty sure we're not just yet but this is okay you guys this is okay because you know you can't expect profit right at the beginning you have to keep working for it basically keep working to make things a little bit more efficient that's what we're doing right now all right, so is there any truck going over here? What are they producing anyway over here? Because usually the whole... Oh, they're only collecting water right now, it seems. Hmm. All right, there we go. We sold something. That was... That's one. <laughs> that's definitely one. We're working on another one. Seems like it takes six days to actually make this, so... I'm considering actually splitting up the operation into various food factories. I don't know if that's going to be worth it, though, because the building upkeep is a lot of money. And it seems like it might not be worth it. We're at the end of the month and we lost 28,000 bucks. So, yeah, it might not be worth it right now. Just because it seems like uh, it, it just costs a lot in general to to run this operation. All right. So, how how are we doing over here? Obviously, we have a lot of cocoa. We have a lot of wheat. A lot, a lot of wheat. So, how are we doing? Where are we sending the wheat, actually? We're sending two to the chicken farm. Okay, so we're only sending one right across the street. It seems like it's already way too much. But, I mean, we have to keep it up just like that. We are still producing a lot of this because we have been getting water. Yes, we have more than enough water here, so that's good. That's good that we're getting water, but overall it seems like we're lacking in the egg department still. Hmm. Chickens, what's going on? You don't have your feed. Is that what it is? We might need to actually send over some more trucks full of feed over to them just because. Let's go ahead and buy one more truck just in case because, I mean, that is a little bit far. I mean, it's not really the closest building to us, so... That makes some sense if we need to send over some more feed. I mean, it costs us because, of course, more more trucks is never good. But it is what it is just to get ourselves extra eggs. All right, so are we producing eggs now? It seems like they're working in the fields. We might need some more chicken farms. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking that's what it is. And for this, well, it seems like we have more than enough cocoa. We don't exactly need that much more. So that's okay enough. Yeah, let's go ahead and get ourselves some more farms here and see if that'll work for us. Of course, they're going to need some more feed, and we don't really seem to have enough. What's going on over here? Yes. Uh, transfer problem. Destination to be is lacking storage space. Oh. What do we have over here? What do we, what do we have in storage? Apparently, a ton of water. Hmm. Well, I mean, we do have a specific building that can help us with this problem. And that specific building is called the warehouse. So, we can go for a warehouse if we really deem it that necessary maybe over here and store the water there store any extra water there but for now i think we're just gonna expand on our fields and add some more farms here i know that that means the cocoa farm is never gonna be big enough but whatever it doesn't look like we need any more cocoa as it is anyway so there we go something like that and hopefully that'll work out pretty well for us yes i know i know they have enough water they seem to just need enough more feed so maybe let's see to be chicken farm we don't need that much water there so let's go ahead and send some more water over to the wheat farm that way we can make sure that we are producing enough wheat it seems like we already are though or maybe not enough actually you guys maybe that's what it is maybe we need our fields here so let's go ahead and move this road scoochy scoochy right over here so we can actually get this going right over to here there we go scoot that over and delete this one excuse me it's not letting me delete it's not letting me delete what the heck huh maybe we have to play uh uh oh I can't get rid of uh, starting roads. Is that what it is? It might just be the case. Oh, god dang it. Well, at least it's the thought that counts. This is going to start turning ugly, you guys. I apologize. I didn't realize that this was a problem. I would have, you know, moved this over if that was the case. So I apologize that this is about to look super ugly over here. <laughs> oh, gosh. The, the ugliness. I know. I know. That's so unsightly. Ugh. All right. So, uh, geez, that's so terrible. So, so terrible. Anyway, let's see. Tibby is lacking storage space. Yes, we know, but hopefully now they should be using it. We should be getting things. So Why aren't we selling the meat? We should be sending the meat out. Let's see. Do we need some more trucks to actually take the meat out here? Hmm. I'm going to just focus on eggs, even though it doesn't seem like we're producing too many eggs often enough. So I'm going to just leave as is. What do we have there? Huh. All right. Instead, no, 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 no. There's not enough eggs. There's not enough eggs for me to actually do this. So let's just go ahead and send out as much meat as we can. 
Cocoa, well, I mean, we produced enough that we sent it over here, and this should be stocked up on cocoa. It is. That, I mean, we can produce tons of cakes then, but all we really need are some more eggs. Let's see. Tippy chocolate. Ah! So now these guys are lacking space because, of course, we don't have enough. So yeah, I'm going to start sending this out to out of state. Let's see. Destination. Let's change this destination to out of state. Oh, boy. It looks like Tippy's actually growing up in here, which might be okay. Oh, they have their own cocoa plantations. Excuse me. Excuse me, and they even have a paper mill. Uh-oh. It looks like they're trying to outsell me right now. I don't know if they're actually uh, feeling this. I don't, I don't see any supply here, so maybe that's going to be okay. Supply here is not the best. It could be better. And this still says candy apple, so <laughs> I'm not so sure. I th again, I think that's some kind of orange project product, excuse me, but I'm not so sure. Oh, I did see some cocoa there. So it looks like they are getting cocoa there, and it's being... T oh, wow, they're producing a lot of stuff. What the heck? Tip Wait. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> They have more stuff out here. Lumberyard. They have a textile factory. Oh, boy. All right. So, oh, jeez. Why does this Why does this have to look like this? Anyway, storage. It looks like we may have a lot of stuff in storage here over as well. So, we are going to have to do something a little bit different. Yes, we're going to have to get ourselves our warehouse now just because it seems like we have way too much stuff overall. So, Tibby, I'm sorry. I'm going to go ahead and encroach on your space. Especially since I can't remove this road. Ugh. And let's see. We're going to go ahead and click on our warehouse here. And we are going to gather... I suppose we can probably just store any water overall. So let's see. Only one building in range. Are you kidding me? What's the range? You're only going to collect it from there. Oh, fine. Whatever. Uh, that's probably not good, though. <laughs> that's probably not good. They're going to take it from the TB Waterworks, and that's probably not where we need it, though. So we should probably go ahead and collect something different. Like, let's see. Maybe meat. Let's go ahead and collect the meat with one truck, and if we need to, we'll send that out. Because I don't know if these guys are actually sending it out. So that might work out well for us. Over here, we need to do something about, let's see, maybe the grain, because we might have too much grain over here. Yeah, this definitely is. So we're going to go ahead and grab the grain instead from uh, sending over here, and we're going to send two trucks over to that one. If we have two trucks, we do good. And I'll leave that one open just in case. So we can choose this and send over, let's see... We're trying to sell, sell meat, right? So raw resources. We're going to sell just meat over to the state if that's not actually going to sell it for us. So let's try that with three trucks. Sure. Let's try this and see if it'll work for us. I'm not so sure if it will. Wait, did that just take away the trucks from this, though? Oh, what? So the trucks gather stuff and also send things out. Hmm. Interesting. All right. So we have way, way, way too much stuff here. That's okay, though. We should be able to take care of this stuff soon soon and otherwise you know we could always dump the water it's not gonna be that much of an issue how much are how much water are we actually sending over to the, uh, to the do, 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 do. wheat farm's getting a lot that one has apparently enough i mean it's, it's good the wheat is the problem so wheat we need to actually redo this oh we still oh yeah, you know what let's just not send any over there and just send it all over there for now because these guys have more than enough and they don't need any and it looks like we're getting very very close to making a profit but the end of the year just came around and we did not actually make a profit so it is what it is, as sad as it is. And there we go. We made a little bit of money there. We made some money there. So, yeah, it's looking not that bad. Oh, God. Get get out of here. They just took our space. Are you kidding me? Uh, that's frustrating. That is absolutely frustrating. That was our space here for our gas. But I guess we're not going to do that anytime soon, huh? All right. So, let's see what's flashing at me. Cocoa Plantation is lacking storage space. You do not have... Oh, you have way too much water. That's what it is. Or we could always send the cocoa out. I'm pretty sure... Are we collecting cocoa from here? We are not. All right, so let's go ahead and collect cocoa. And we're going to just uh, send over just one truck over there. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And we can maybe even sell the cocoa out, but just because we seem to have a lot of it that we don't exactly need. So let's see. Cocoa! Let's send one truck out to go out of state so we can actually make a little bit of money from that as well. And hopefully then that'll stop flashing at me because it seems like it's mostly about the cocoa plantation, which we should now have taken care of. Hopefully. Hopefully. All right. So, I mean, that was a little bit sad. Oh, boy. Do we have way too much water here? Hmm. We might have too much water here, which means I'm not... I was going to put another warehouse here. But now it seems like I can't do that because Tibby got in the way. Oh, boy. All right. Let me go ahead and build a second warehouse right now before Tibby actually gets in the way even further. I'm going to block them in just because they're jerks. <laughs> they're being jerks. All right. Let's go ahead and gather ourselves some. Let's see. We want to gather water if we can with, I guess, all three trucks. And hopefully we will not have any issues with water at all. So, I mean, if we gather too much, then that may be a problem. But I think we should be able to gather just enough. And let's see. We're still waiting on eggs here, unfortunately, which... Ugh. Ugh. Your chickens. Your chickens. I can't believe it. You guys are getting fed, but you're just not producing enough. Which, wait. 
wait a second. No, 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 no. That's not right. We are producing a lot. Are you just not sending them out much? Oh, well, that's definitely a problem. All right, let me buy two more trucks. I know you probably shouldn't buy that many trucks, but let's go and do that just so we can maybe send out all the eggs in the world and get that gone and hopefully actually sell off some more cakes, huh? All right, so that is lacking storage space. Is this not cleared out yet? It looks like we still have tons of water there overall, so that kind of sucks, but I really want to get them taking this out. Let's see. Gathered goods. Are you not gathering it? Storage. We have... Oh, we have some. And we had meat there for a second before they actually sold it. So, gotcha. They are actually selling things. Unlike these guys, they seem to not be selling things, which was a little bit sad. All right, so the cocoa plantation still has a lot of water. I'm going to go ahead and dump that, even though I know we can store it, but whatever. We're going to go ahead and dump. And that problem should be taken care of. Oh, boy. What now? Is it the water harvester that's just too stuffed up? It looks like it is. Okay, let's see. Cake! Cake, how are we doing? We have eggs here, finally! And we need to maybe send some cocoa over here because we do not have much. So let's see, instead of this, we are going to go ahead and send our cocoa to the chocolate cake factory since we use so much now since we were producing cakes. Hey! On the bright side, it finally worked. We, we were able to finally produce some cakes. On the not so bright side, Tibby's uh, taking over here and actually encroaching on our land, which is not okay. I thought we were gonna be friends, but apparently we're not that great of friends. Ooh, we can, we have the potential to make a profit right now. Right now, sell one more thing. Yes, <laughs> made a profit, you guys. We have succeeded. All right, not that this is the end or anything like that, but uh, hey, we finally did it. All right, so whatever this is, we can get more money for it. And I'm going to assume that that is, let's see, we must have some orange thing here. Food factory, orange, not juice. Apple, smo apple smoothie? No, it's not an apple smoothie. Of course it's not an apple smoothie. Maybe we have something at our preservation factory, huh? Let's see, we have candied stuff, candied soda, uh, I mean, that's candied apples, that's exactly, yeah, that's candied apples there that we, uh, saw. I don't know what that other thing is, it's, I don't see it listed here at all. Like, there's nothing with oranges here, except for the orange juice, wait. No, that's not what it looked like, right? That's not at all what it looked like. No, that's not it. Hmm, there's something missing from here, and I don't know exactly what it is, but it's curious, very curious. Let's see if there's anything orange here that we're... Not finding. So there's orange juice, orange soda, and just oranges. No, I don't know. All right, we keep getting that flashing thing. What's going on over here? Is it the waterworks again? Are we producing too much water still? Because if that's the case, then we probably have to uh, get rid of some of the harvesters, which might be good because harvesters cost us money, you know? So that's going to be a waste if we're just creating too much. Hmm, we made some money again. That would be nice. That's always nice. All right, I'm going to get rid of this just because we probably don't need it. And now we need to actually reconnect our road because as you can see there... It's not connected. There we go. All right. Problem solved. And hopefully we will no longer be making too much water. If we are, well, my bad. All right. The warehouses should be collecting the water, though. So that should be okay. Let's see. Buildings in range. Do we have water in storage? What? Okay. This one can't collect water. All right. We have to swap things. We have to swap one of these out. So this one is collecting. Let's see. The cocoa's far. I guess this one can collect the wheat. So let's get rid of this. And we're going to make sure that this says just the water. And let's see. Are we actually collecting water from the... Huh? How is that happening? What the the, 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 the water works are right there. Why are you not? Ugh. How it was it was like first trying to get me to collect the water from there, and now it's just like oh, I don't think so. That's a little bit too far for me. Ugh. Whatever. Whatever. All right. So let's see. We are going to need to collect ourselves our wheat over here. Let's go ahead and send our trucks over there, and we apparently will go to the warehouse, to that warehouse over there, and to the wheat farm. I really wish I could get rid of this because I don't want them going to that warehouse. I just want them to go to this. Ugh, warehouses. Okay, that's not okay. That's definitely not okay. But hey, we're making a profit, so I mean, whatever. Although we're only really making a profit because we sold off one of the harvesters, aren't we? So, I mean, it's still a bit of a problem. Okay, so we need to do more. We need to do more so we can actually make a constant profit. So let's see. These guys maybe want some stuff for the bookstore. It looks like deluxe books are in right now. So we are going to have to try to make some deluxe books. So what do we need to make deluxe books? Um, It won't let me click. Oh, wait. So we're going to need wood, we're going to need paper, and we're going to need leather. So we're going to have to have a car, car farm? Car farm? Cow farm. We're going to need to have, I believe, well, we're going to have to use wood to actually make the paper, and then we're going to need just raw wood for this, too. Hmm. So we're going to need a lumber yard, no matter what. We're going to need a paper mill to turn this into paper first, right? And then a paper mill to uh, do this, right? Because we need a paper mill for that. Yeah, so we're going to need quite a bit of that. And we want to keep it close to Tibby, but 
Of course, guess who's actually taking up all the space over here? Although we do have this open right now for us, so we could go for an operation right over here. That might not be that much of an issue, and I mean, we'd get quite a nice amount of money for that. And alternatively, we can always produce these guys too, if we have more than enough resources. So sure, let's go for that and ignore the massive catastrophe that is happening over here, because that is just... I don't know, Timmy Waterworks. You apparently cannot store your water, and we apparently cannot send that off anywhere else because we have way too much water going places, huh? Yeah, we have a lot of water there, don't we? And we don't have enough eggs, but that's hopefully because we've actually sent them over to this place. Oh, we do. Huh, we're not getting much cocoa, though. What is happening over here? I thought I sent the cocoa over here. We are producing cocoa. All right, and we're sending over two trucks. Let's just send three trucks because really we don't really need to send it anywhere else. Anyway, moving on. I apologize, you guys. I've been trying to figure that out just for this whole time here, and uh, it's, it's kind of working. I mean, we have been making somewhat of a profit, but it's just still not good enough profit. Anyway, Lumberyard. All right, let's do this before we lose any other money, although we have been making little incremental amounts of money, so it's not like it's... The biggest loss ever. So let's see. We're going to need ourselves a lumber yard, and we can place it anywhere. Really, we don't have to place it anywhere directly near trees. So that works for me. I do want to keep this like somewhere smack dab in the middle, though, so we can actually place other things around it. And I think here is a good place, right? So let's see. We're gonna need to have our little collectors. Uh, must have resource in range. Are you kidding me? There's a tree right there. That's about it. Oh, uh, that's really. I can place one over here, though, right? Well, that's tricky. All right, let's go ahead and waste some money because that's what we like to do, apparently. And Lumberyard, we need to build this a little bit closer to some trees. So I might have to actually build it right here and tell Tibby to, to just go find their own trees. <laughs> All right, let's try that and see if that'll work. I mean, I can always build this like this here. That might not be the worst thing. I could do this here and this here. That way I can block them. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that just because I like blocking them. All right, so there we go. We'll have plenty of wood coming in. And where are we going to send that wood? Well, we, of course, know that we need some regular wood just so we can send that over to our paper mill. So we're going to need two paper mills. And I guess we could probably just keep them close to this, and then we'll probably build um, the farm over here just because. So paper mills next. Let's see. Paper mills, we're going to need some factories and paper mills. We need two of them. Oh, thank goodness they're small buildings. I was like, oh, boy, these are big. We are in for a big surprise here. All right, so this works. Let's just try to put it right over here. There's one, and we're going to need another one paper. Paper mill right here. There we go. All right, so two paper mills. This paper mill, we're going to call it the, let's see, Tivy paper mill, just because that's all that it is. Tivy paper mill. There we go. And we're going to need water there. So we know that we're going to have to place water somewhere over here, which is fine because we're going to need water for the, for the farm anyway. All right, and over here, this one is going to make us the deluxe book. So this is going to be called the Tibby Book Binder. Binders, bingers? <laughs> Tibby Book Binder. So let's see. We can make ourselves some deluxe books. It takes how long? Nine days. Oh, well, whatever. All right, so now what we know what we have to do is we have to send over some stuff to the paper mill and some stuff as well to the book binder. So we're going to have to send over, let's see. I'm going to send some to the paper mill. I'm going to send just one to the book binder for now because they might not need that much, but we know we need a lot for paper. So there we go. But for the paper, of course, we're going to need some water and we still need our farm. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves our water siphon. Let's see, water siphon wire. Why can't I, I always, I always can't find that. I don't know why. All right, let's, let's go ahead and flip this guy around and ta-da, we can fit it right there, which works because this is just right across the bridge from that, so that shouldn't be much of a problem. It's not like we could place it there anyway, so I mean... This is the best spot for us here. All right, so let's place one, two, and I'm going to go for three for now, just in case we need enough, because, of course, farms and for the paper. So, sure, let's try that. And let's go ahead and connect this all the way through here. Let's connect that there and bring this all the way through. Ta-da! So we have water, and now we have to send water over to our popper mill. Otherwise, we are not getting anything. So we're going to go ahead and send this right away to the factory, the paper mill, and we're going to send two trucks, not three, because we're going to have to send one or two to our farm, which we are going to put right next door to this, because of course, we need to try to save as much space as possible, and I don't know if we can actually fit all that we need here, but hey, let's give it a try, and if not, well, I tried. All right, so we're going to leave five on each side. It looks like this is going to work, except for that corner over there. Hmm. The corner is a little bit, uh, well, we're going to go for this anyway. All right, so let's go for one there, this one right over here. Yeah, I can't get one in the corner there, so we're going to be stuck with... Oh, this is chicken fields. No! Can we automatically change these all to cow fields? Oh, thank goodness. I was like, no. Oh, the game. All right, so yeah, we can't actually do this here just because of what, a few blocks there. So that's sad. We can only keep four four fields there, which I guess is that's fine. 
And let's see, we're of course going to produce things that we don't need right away. So, what we need most importantly is the leather. So we're going to go ahead and, what? Choose the leather here. I was like, why can't we choose the destination for this? No, we can't. All right, so we're gonna send that right away to with two, and then we're gonna go ahead and select the meat, and we're gonna sell that off. Actually, no, I think we need the milk somewhere over here, don't we? Tibby, do you want some milk? You do want milk at a nice price, too. All right, so we're gonna sell you our milk, and that should be good. So let's go ahead and sell that to the commercial. I believe it was the Tibby Farmer's Market that wanted it, and we are going to go ahead and buy two trucks. So we can send that over there, and we're gonna sell our meat out to out of state, because these guys don't really want it. I mean, maybe somebody else wants it, but not the ones around here. So let's get rid of that, and that should be good. Alright, I think we have everything that we need. Gotta make sure that I have my siphons actually directed everywhere. Let's go ahead and direct one to the livestock farm, which I actually have to rename it. We can't have it named Livestock Farm 2, please. It's gonna be called our cow farm. Cow, moo cow farm. Cow farm. Oh, wait. And call the Tibby Cow Farm. There we go. Because, of course, we have to look at the other places pretty soon. Anyway, let's go ahead and see how that works. And if I miss something, please let me know in the comments so I can fix it up as soon as is possible. So, we have now our farm set up, our whole lumber production set up, and we do have a lot of stuff going over here just for chocolate cakes. And it seems like with the chocolate cakes alone, we were making a little bit of profit. So, hopefully, we can keep up that profit with our brand new production area over here in the next episode because that is it for this episode of rise of industry if you enjoyed hit that like button to show your support and do subscribe if you already haven't but as always thank you so much for watching and have an awesome night